Welcome everyone to the Courtyard Studios. Uh, my name is Josh Fox. I'm here with Anthony Jackson from Sky Coloured. What would you say some of your biggest influences are? I was always singing in church and then from a very young age I was also in church choirs. Um, I mean church music embodies a whole range of different musics really. That's how I learned to be a musician singing uh, it, it, singing Christian music. Um, the first songs I wrote were, were, were Christian songs for the for for the school choir. There's sort of hymns. There's like Christian pop music. There's um, unaccompanied sacred choral music, which goes right back to the sort of 12th, 13th century. And then there's also gospel. Bob Dylan. Um, I had an uncle who who lent me a couple of his CDs. I don't think I ever gave those back. Uh, and um, and and yeah, so so that that that's that's somewhere in there as well. What's your meaning behind the song in the small hours? In in the small hours, the phrase is a is a reference to the jazz standard in the wee small hours of the morning, most famously performed by Frank Sinatra in his LP, uh, which was also called In the Wee Small Hours of the Morning. I just wanted to kind of poke sort of poke a little bit with it. My song is about like watching porn and about like which is about like you know what men really do when they're when they're lonely um what some of the challenges that you face as a musician the challenge to kind of keep the joy you know even even if you're sort of trying to do you know take it seriously or do it professionally yeah, yeah well have you got anything else coming in the pipeline uh... i've got an ep coming out this year um i just released the first single from it on monday um, the EP is going to be called As a Pearl. Um, I'm really, yeah, I'm really, really excited about that. That there will be some live dates uh, announced uh, announced for that. Um, I also make a podcast about songwriting, oh, uh, about like the history of music, um, and the second series of that, Amazing. which is called The Secret Life of Songs. What inspired you, inspired you to create that podcast? When I was at school, I, I would often get frustrated in class music lessons because it, they felt very dry to me. That 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 we were just sort of studying scores, and they felt like they felt it felt like a very unmusical exercise um, to just sort of talk about notes on a page. Um, so when it came to doing my form of music analysis, I knew that I wanted to make it musical, which is why I, I knew that I wanted it to be like an audio medium. Um, and so it was either going to be like a podcast or like a YouTube series. Um, and, but, but I asked my filmmaker friend, you know, whether he thought I could do a, 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 a video series. And he was like, absolutely not. Um, you would be terrible <laughs> at it because, because, and he's right. I, I, I would have been, whereas because I'd already, already uh, got interested in like audio production, making a podcast was not a massive leap in terms of just how to do it. Um, so yeah, it became a podcast. I was actually wasn't really that into podcasts when I started making it, but, um, but I am now. It's been amazing talking to you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, likewise. Thank you so much for today. It's been really nice. Like, really nice. Well, thanks so much for, for, for offering us this opportunity. It's, yeah. uh, it's really great. Everyone that's watching, I'll say thank you. And if you could subscribe, that helps us to continue supporting artists and everyone we work with and keep on doing what we're doing. So appreciate all the love and support. And thank you for watching.